And we're back guys, welcome to Good Energy. We are back at the Angers Open where we have a quarterfinal that needs to be played. And we have Marketa Von Drusova from the Czech Republic, world's rank 97th, taking on Alicia Parks from the United States, Atlanta, Georgia. And listen, we're down to the final eight. This is the quarterfinals. 24 ladies have been eliminated. We have the number two seed left, the highest ranking contender left, and that is and Helena Kalanina. And uh, look, the draw here is pretty competitive. These ladies are all talented. And of course, we have Alicia Parks, Von Sova, Jessica Panche, and Clara Buell, both from France, as well as Dartron. So the draw here, it's, it's exciting for French locals as they have three of their hometown females that have a chance to win it all. But this video, we're gonna take a look at the heavyweight matchup between Von Sova and Alicia Parks. And listen, Von Sova, she's 23 years old. She's listed as five foot six, but I don't, I don't think that's accurate to be honest with you. I, I think she's taller, but nonetheless, um, look, she had an injured wrist, so this has been a pretty short year for her. And of course, now that she has finally healed, uh, she got married during her time off this year. Uh, she's only had 27 matches, but I did call a couple of them. The one lock in particular at the Indian Wells versus Veronica Kudamatova had that match going over and Veronica winning that match, which she barely won um, in a tie break. Uh, two of the three sets there went to a tie break. But Von Trusova, look, she's a left-handed player. Uh, she's got a really good forehand and um, she's somewhat unconventional and she's tough to game plan against. And a lot of people may not know, but she did make the 2019 French Open Finals against Ashley Barty. Ashley Barty did beat her pretty bad in straight sets, but of course she was a lot younger then. And um, look, a lot of people may know her from last year at the Tokyo Olympics, where she really demolished the draw. And that's where she really got a lot of, well, I, I'm not going to say she got most of her uh, notoriety from the... Um, Olympics because the reality is most people know her from making the French Open 2019 finals against Ashley Barty. That's definitely where she's known from. But internationally, a lot of fans remember her last year just tearing up the Tokyo Olympic Games. In the first round, she literally made Kiki Bertens retire. Uh, Kiki did retire after that match. Uh, did go three sets and Kiki put up a tough fight there. Uh, but Von Drusova won that in straight sets. In the second round, she took out Barzanescu. Uh, that was a straight set victory from Romania, 6-1, 6-2. She beat her pretty easy, um, easily. Now, this is where things got interesting. She demolished Naomi Osaka in the third round, 6-1, 6-4. She beat Osaka really badly. And Osaka looked beautiful. Her hair looked amazing uh, with the red extensions. We really wanted to see Osaka go deep. If Osaka wins that match, I think she wins the gold without a doubt. But nonetheless, Von Silva beat her in straight sets, 6-1, 6-4. The next matchup got even worse. Now, Paula Badosa did have to retire. It was very hot and humid there. The conditions were uncomfortable. I mean, when you're at the Tokyo Olympics, if you're not on the USA men's basketball team, then you're literally sleeping in these small, you know, I don't know what you want to call them, dorms or whatever, but I mean, the men's USA basketball team, they have luxury suites. Everyone else there sleeps in a little, you know, eight by eight room that's like tiny and they have to bunk with people. But nonetheless, Paula Bedosa couldn't take it. Heat stroke, Vondru Sofa won, Vondru Sofa won that in straight sets. He advanced to the semifinals where this is a match that I was scared for Elena Svetlana. I didn't think Elena could beat her, and sure enough, she didn't. 6-3, 6-1, Von Drusova beat Svetlana in the semifinals, and that put her up against Belinda Bensik in the finals, where, I'll be honest with you, I felt scared for Belinda Bensik as well, but she did pull it off. Uh, she won the first set, dropped the second set. The last set, Von Drusova just ran out of gas. If you watched that match, which I, excuse me, uh, that's a match I did watch, and she just ran out of gas in the last set. It was a shame because I felt she deserved with the draw that she beat. I felt she deserved to win the gold, uh, but she fell a little, a little bit short. And um, fast forward to this year. Um, I mean, she hasn't played since 
you know, before she injured her wrist. And, you know, that was, um, well, I mean, well, she did play in Shrewsbury, so don't want to forget that. Uh, she did play uh, another ITF tournament before that, but for the most part, uh, she's been off with the exception of October. She's been off since April. So is she in tip top form yet? Um, I don't think so. Now in Shrewsbury, she did make the final where she won that. So she has come back to win an ITF championship. Uh, she beat Bajorklin and Kelly Lena in straight sets, um, but the first set did go to the tie break. So I think she's playing pretty good tennis. Danielle Collins did beat her. Um, no, she beat Danielle Collins in the Billie Jean King Cup. Uh, when the Czech played the U.S. Um, but technically, if you want to say she is really on like an eight match win streak. So she's she's getting hot at the right time. Now on the season, she's uh, she's 21 and six coming off of a 32 win season last year and a silver medal at the Olympic Games. And um, look, she's won 11 matches on hard. Hard is her preferred surface. She literally averages about about three aces per match on the season. She wins 73% of her service games. Her return game, she normally wins about 34% of them. And when she's under pressure point situations, she's able to, to break opponents at 46%. And in terms of her own pressure point situations, she saves about 60% of her own break points. And Playing someone like Alicia Parks, she is going to be under pressure. Um, but Von Jusova, last time out, she played um, Victoria Tomova, who's a very tough opponent. Now, against the match with Tomova, Tomova was actually the seventh seed in this tournament. And Tomova's got a really good backhand. Uh, Von Jusova was able to blast off one ace. However, she had six double faults. Now that's something she's going to need to clean up facing someone like Alicia Parks. Uh, but she was able to get 62% of her first serves in play. Uh, I think that number is gonna have to improve as well if she wants to be Alicia Parks. Uh, 31 out of 50 of her first serves uh, she was able to get in play. She was able to win 65% of her first serve points. I think that's a bit of a low number as well. 42% uh, of her second serve points she was able to win. Um, she did face six breakpoint opportunities. So Tomova did put quite a bit of pressure on her. She was able to save half of them uh, while pressuring Victoria to into eight breakpoint opportunities. And she converted seven out of eight breakpoint opportunities, which is phenomenal. Um, you know, 90% breakpoints anytime you're over five and you're converting at that ratio that's pretty impressive uh, but i do want to point this out um, as i called victoria tomova's match the previous day it seemed like she was injured she played very horribly against a teenager um, so i don't you know victoria in my opinion was injured she was wrapped up and i could tell she wasn't moving well so I'm not sure what to really make of that performance against a, an injured person. Uh, now, Alicia Parks, is she injured is the question. How is she going to feel? Well, she was able to play with Zhang Shui and win a doubles match after playing a singles match um, against um, Jacqueline. So I don't know. Maybe she did recover quick. So if Alicia Parks is healthy, then this is going to be a match, ladies and gentlemen. Now let's assume Alicia Parks is healthy. We're going to approach this video as if she is 100% healthy. All things constant. Alicia Parks has been averaging now on her win streak. Okay, if we take a look at her win streak, she has won. She's won seven matches in a row. Okay, she's on a seven match win streak. And she is averaging a win margin of four games per match on that win streak. So she is getting the job done. She is literally winning. Listen, listen to this. This stat is amazing. She is literally winning three to four service games without her opponent even touching the ball or, or having to return the ball. Un that's unreal. We have not seen this well over 100 aces her last two and a half tournaments. Unreal. 
believable. And of course, I say half because this tournament isn't completed yet. Alicia Parks is dominating. And how is she doing it? Well, first of all, she's 6'1". So she's taller than 90% of all female tennis players on tour. Um, being tall, of course, you have a much better you have a much better uh, court vision and it makes it easier to serve. Uh, look at some of the best servers. They're normally six feet or taller. You know, the Carolina Pliskovas, the Sabalenkas, uh, the Samsonovas. Those ladies are between 5'11 or taller. And of course, they have lots of power and their accuracy. They have court vision. Um, being a good server starts with the ball toss. So not, so not only do you need to have good court vision, which would be your eyes, uh, accuracy, aim, strength. You have to be, you have to be strong. You need good stamina to be able to hold up for one, two, or three hours blasting your strongest shot. Remember, your first serve is your strongest, most powerful shot. So it takes stamina, but it also takes focus. It takes mental focus. You have to be able to toss that ball vertically in the air evenly in a straight line so you can start the process of your serve motion to begin with so alicia parks is very talented she's very focused and like i said she's literally winning three to four service games without her opponents even touching the ball but now i said she's averaging a win margin of four games per match on her seven match win streak which of course led her to the andorra title now she's played some really good competition let's be honest with you guys uh, in my opinion, look, I think she's played equally just as good a competition as Von Dushova has. We saw her beat Zhang, Peterson, Buska, Lasicki, Dodden. Those, those are all pretty good darn players, veterans. Um, now, these two ladies have never played before. Let's, let's take a look at this matchup here. But first, you know, we'll come back to that match. I want to take a look at the battle of the hometown ladies. Clara Buell versus Jessica Ponche. Now these two ladies, and look, I'll be brief with this. Um, look, Clara Buell is the favorite in this match, uh, but I like Jessica Ponche getting two free games on the alternate spread in the first set. Uh, she might even win the first set outright. The reality here is uh, Clara Buell, she's been making a lot of mistakes. And the good thing about Jessica Ponche is she she holds her serve she's very tough to break she's been holding her serve all tournament long and look if she doesn't win the first set outright it, it's probably gonna go to a tie break but jessica ponche she can hold her serve buell's been making a lot of more mistakes i do think buell's the more athletic player but ponche's unconventional she's a really good shot maker and if she's if she's consistent she's gonna force buell into making mistakes so i like ponche getting two free games on the uh, on the first set alternate spread that's my pick in that match clara tossin and Anne helena kalimina listen these two ladies clara tossin by the way i hope you guys enjoyed that video i did earlier where clara tossin just literally sat a net contivate down with a rocket and she did it a couple times in that match so i hope you enjoyed that video i did earlier and look clara tossin in case you guys don't know that's emma radicani's bestie they are best friends but with Claire Tossin, you never know which one's gonna show up. Is it gonna be the Claire Tossin that, and she's a two to one favorite in this match, which is complete disrespect to Anne Helena. But you never know which Claire Tossin is gonna show up. Is it the one that's gonna quit, you know, mid second set or third set? The one that's too hot and sweaty and doesn't wanna be bothered? And to be honest with you, when you're dealing with people like that, where their mental toughness and if I have to question your mental toughness and your will to be there, then the reality is, look, I, I'm not even going to call the match. To, to be honest with you, not a match I'm interested in watching, to be honest with you. Let's get back to Alicia Parks. All right, so here's the thing with this match. Alicia Parks is a huge underdog in this match, nearly a 4-1 to one underdog. And Marquetta Von Drew Silva, she's automatically, because she's such a huge underdog, she's giving away so many free games to Alicia Parks. And, um... The reality is normally that's an indication that the match is going to be lopsided. Uh, however, here's the thing. Uh, Von Sova is on a seven match win streak and she's only lost once since she's come back and that was to um, Hatuka 
at the uh, Potier tournament, ITF lower level tournament, and um, Hatuka beat her pretty bad. She beat her by a total of six games, but of course that was Von Drusova's first match back, so I guess that's understandable. Uh, Von Drusova, like I said, she on her seven match win streak is winning each match by an average of six games. Wow. So automatically they're giving Alicia Parks five and a half free games in this match. And look, here's the flip side of things. Alicia Parks is winning on her win streak. Uh, she's won eight in a row. Um, I'm sorry, she's won seven in a row. Alicia Parks is winning her games by an average of four service games. Of course, that leaves a difference of two, but the reality here is Alicia Parks is also winning three to four service games without her opponent even touching the ball on returns. Unbelievable. Alicia Parks also on her win streak is, she's holding serve literally in the 80 percentile range. So she's not getting broken at all. So if Alicia Parks is not gonna get broken, then she's going to cover. Uh, but furthermore, Von Drew Sova, last time out, six double faults. So not only is she giving away free games, uh, she was pretty sloppy on her first serves, uh, only getting 60% of them in play, only winning uh, 42 of her second, 42% of her second serve points. So Von Drew Sova, although she's winning games, uh, in matches, she still looks a little shaky. And Alicia Parks is hot. She's red hot. She's active. She's fit. She's in shape. And like I said, assuming she's healthy, she's she's got good court vision right now. She's also playing doubles. She's the younger opponent. I think she's the more athletic opponent. I think she's clearly the stronger opponent. Uh, Von Drew Sova is the shorter opponent, but I do like Von Drew Sova. I like her down the line left. It, remi it reminds me of um, reminds me of Wong from China. You guys remember I covered uh, her versus the uh, Maria Sacri match, and I told you to take her over Maria Sacri because she hits a left hand rocket just right down the line. It's a simple shot, but the reality here is it's so tough for opponents to return this shot, especially when her opponent is facing the south side of the court it's it's a rocket coming at you and this is what marquetta does and people might be wondering okay well how come opponents have such difficulty returning this shot because essentially she's left-handed she's blasting it right down in the position to that right-handed opponent's right forehand they should be able to return it and yes opponents can return it but a lot of her points that she scores comes from this shot because it's coming at you so fast and i've said this time and time again especially all year in order to hit a clean right forehand you need balance this shot is coming at you right down the line and it's it's tough to gather and set your feet and return this shot accurately you need balance that ball you want to be essentially on the center of your racket you can't get a, a good shot. You can't really get underneath that shot and set your feet, set your feet because it's coming at you so fast and you end up hitting wide long or just hitting a shot that puts you behind in the rally in an uncomfortable position. Now, if when you're facing, you know, right-handed players, of course it depends on if it's a Madison Keys, Sabalenka, or Camilla Giorgi, or Ostapenko, or someone with rockets like that, of course, uh, it's tough to return even with them being right-handed because you know they're so strong and powerful um, but theoretically it's a little easier to set your feet when you're playing a right-handed uh, opponent not necessarily but in this case von Drusova, wong they hit this same shot down the line and it's it's tough to set your feet and return it because there's so much velocity on it they are so strong and heavy-handed um, but guys the prediction on this match um, look you're getting a lot of free games uh, I'm gonna say um, tease it up take Alicia Parks getting six and a half free games she's already a four to one underdog that's a great price great value if Alicia Parks loses by more than six and a half games then she's clearly injured and uh, I, I would expect her to retire if it gets that bad but the reality here is she's holding serve she's scoring and uh, all she's got to do is hold serve she's been doing that 80% for the most part 
on her win streak. So uh, she hasn't been getting broken a lot. She's been holding serve, and we know that she's going to score points off of her uh, aces. We know Marquette has been committing a lot of double faults, and the reality here is she can even um, serve second and be broken twice and still cover, or she could serve first, be broken twice and still cover four and a half but that's the pick six and a half free game for alicia parks on the spread that's my lock make sure you get your own this is for entertainment purposes only so make sure whatever picks or decisions you do are your choice and your choice exclusively uh, this is good energy reporting thanks for tuning in and listening to this late night special edition of tennis alicia parks versus marquetta von jusova and of course guys we are excited excited for what alicia parks is going to do for the upcoming season and um look six and a half games is too many to get against von jusova can she win the match outright of course she can even win the match outright i don't think marquetta's in tip-top shape yet as well and uh, she's she made a ton of mistakes against um victoria tomova who i i don't think is nearly as athletic strong or fit as alicia park so alicia parks could even win the match outright uh, it's not a key number so this is not a, a money line pick i will be giving out it's got to be a key number where i can calculate her to win uh, but take the point six and a half free games that's my lock stay tuned for more tennis coverage thanks for all the love and support guys helping the channel grow and continue to be successful and I appreciate it. Please like the video and we'll see you next time.